In this video, we're going to show you how you can map the visible attack surface in Burp Suite. Now before you start, we recommend that you set an initial test scope before you start mapping the application. If you'd like more information on this, you can see our documentation page on setting the initial test scope. Now the first thing we're going to do is open Burp's browser. To do this, we're going to navigate to the proxy tab, intercept, and then click open browser. When the browser has opened, we're going to navigate to our target application. For the purposes of the demo, we're going to go to ginandjuice.shop, which is a purposely vulnerable application, which we at Portsburg have made, which is designed for testing vulnerability scanners. Now, without closing the browser, we're going to go back into Burp, go to target, sitemap, and then you should see a node in the sitemap for the application which we've just navigated to. If you don't see that node, you should go to the dashboard and make sure that the live passive crawl from proxy task is enabled. This task will just add items to the sitemap as traffic is proxied through Burp. Now, if you're using Burp Suite Professional, you can now start an automated crawl of the website. To do this, we're going to go back to the sitemap and right click the root node of this site, which is here, and then click scan. If there are any logins which you need to be able to crawl the site, you should go to the application login tab and then add the credentials here. Once you've done that, you can go back to the scan details tab, make sure that the scan type is selected to be crawl, and then click OK. This will now start the scan and the crawl of the application, and you should notice that the sitemap automatically populates itself as the scanner discovers more content. While the scan runs, you can also go back to the browser and explore the website yourself, identify any high-risk functionality. If you're using Burp Suite Community Edition, you should make sure that you fully explore the application yourself using Burp's browser. If you have any application login credentials or you can create your own user, you should log in and explore the authenticated areas of the site as well. Now, in the sitemap, you should notice that some endpoints are greyed out. These are locations that have been explicitly referenced in a response, but have not yet been requested. If you want to dis discover additional content based on those endpoints, you can select one which is interesting to you. For example, I'll select this one here. Right click it, and then go to Request in Browser, and then In Original Session. A dialog will now open with a URL for this request. To open this request, you can just copy the URL, and then paste it into Burp's browser. You can see that you'll be redirected shortly, and then the request has been made. You should continue to populate the sitemap until you have requested all visible locations that are interesting and within your scope.